buddy boy. Beautiful little girl. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello. Hello. Oh, you want to get on the mower? You want to do some work for Dad? Yeah, can't wait till you're old enough. <laughs> yeah. Get the girls on the mower. Get Wolfie on the whippersnipper. Oh, it's going to be chores coming out their ears. <laughs> Say the moon? No. No. <laughs> moon. That's right. Moon. Where's the moon? Oh, the moon's gone to sleep. Huh? Nah, it's gone to sleep. You tell him to. Good job. Good job. I got no shoes Good on. Good job. Good kill, good kill. Go get it here. Go get it here. Go get it here.
buddy. That's my slipper, buddy. <laughs> buddy, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Hello. 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 Cookie. 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 Oh, so beautiful. Beautiful. Cookie. Cookie. Oh, cookie. 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 Look at you guys. Look at you. Look at you guys. <laughs> that recall. <laughs> jumping up on me. <laughs> I 
Hi, Wolfie! Hi, buddy! Oh, hello, Tanky! Hello, beautiful boy! Tian, 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 Tian!
Hello, Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Hello, 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 Just prepping ready for breakfast and these guys been going at it the whole time. Land bowls out. <laughs> They've been non-stop. Hello Jerry.
Shall we go for a run, guys? Hey, we go for a run.
direction somewhere. He's like there chasing birds. You found him, he was just sitting up the top there having a rest in the bush, but he's down here chasing birds now. I don't know where Shadow is, she usually likes doing this too. But the rest of us are down here having a little rest. Let's go check him out. You got a noodle in your hair there, mate. <laughs> got a broken branch. What you got there, Fredo? Good girl, Matilda. Thank you boys, ended up with it. 
Miss Violet hot on his tail. Well, it's first, uh, Chance's first tug of war, and he did very well. As you notice, as soon as the game ended, he looked to me first off straight away just to you know, get that recognition or that um, confirmation that did I do the right thing? Was that the right thing to do there? So really good. I was really uh, ready to step in there as, as tug of war is definitely a big one that um, can revert the dogs to... Hey, Revert to dogs to uh, get a little bit defensive because it's eye to eye, full power competition. And so I was really watching that, but he did so well. Well done, fancy boy. G'day, guys. It is a beautiful sunny day. It's Monday, we've got Chris back in the house and we've just got a uh, dog groomer arrive. She's gonna do five dogs today. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Get a bit of help with uh, washing and maintaining their coats. So uh, let's go around and meet her. All the dogs are in getting fed at the moment. Hello guys, breakfast ready yet? Breakfast ready yet guys? No! any social dog that wanted to just eat any dog that he came in yeah. contact with. Okay. And so he's been in a rehab program for the last probably nine or ten months and then he's been sort of uh, a lot more free and joining in on the pack for the last six weeks or so. Cool. And then he's just been roaming around joining in with everyone now with, uh, without any hiccups which is great. What made him so aggressive before? Uh, unsure. We don't really get much of the backstory of you know where they've come from or what's going on. Okay. Yeah, he was probably the most serious dog that we've had come through as far as aggression and okay. potential cause damage. 
You can give me some tips for my dog. <laughs> uh, have you got an antisocial doggy? We've got one very dog reactive dog. Oh, it's hard, it's difficult, isn't it? It's very hard. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. done a fair bit of training with him, but the other dog, who's my princess, yeah. he, um, he's got very bad separation anxiety from me, which I'll fully admit is my own fault. Yeah. Um, when I was single and not working with dogs, I was working with horses, Toby used to come everywhere with me. Right. And then, um, yeah, and then I wasn't single and then I got got into grooming and then Toby got come with me no more. Oh, poor Toby. <laughs> and so when I want to work with Bruce, who's the dog reactive one, yeah. Toby's like massive FOMO. Oh, you're really enjoying that chancy boy. <laughs> Good boy. He's usually, uh, he's not usually a fan. So oh really? He looks like he's quite enjoying it. <laughs> what a good boy, does that feel nice? You're gonna smell amazing, because it smells so good in here. Yeah, right there. What is that's that? Organic, from. sorry, can I just? Yeah, yeah. Organic goat's milk and manuka honey. That See. smells so good, doesn't it? It smells delicious. These are all secret weapon. <laughs> Australian. Right. Um, up in Queensland, I think. Most of them are vegan. Oh, wow. See, that one's not vegan, but that one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're all high protein. Having stuff is myself. Oh, that's so um, good. I would rather them all be high protein. Yeah. High protein. We've got so many dogs with skin issues here. Yeah. That's why right, I brought him in first because he's pretty sensitive. Yeah. So this will be wonderful. Nice. We might even have to have chance be every week, you know, or more, more often. Such a good boy, eh? Alright, first one done. A <laughs> good boy party. Such a good boy. He loves it. He does. <laughs> Look at you. Does that feel nice? Good boy, buddy. Yeah, he, um... He has incredibly sensitive skin, yeah. but we've noticed that it's got um, considerably worse since he's had so much um, free time. Like, oh, okay. So now he's out on the grass, um, you know, like whereas he used to have to be in more isolation. So, um, but now like you can see around his muzzle where he's obviously yeah, sniffing a lot, pink. he's getting pretty pink. You can try and incorporate bee pollen into his diet. Okay. Um, so the idea behind it is that um, obviously being a pollen, if they've got environmental allergies, it's kind of like a, a plus and a plus. Okay. It makes a negative. But it doesn't work for all dogs and you do have to do it. It comes in tiny, tiny little minute grains and you have to start it with one grain at a time okay. to see if the dog reacts or not, right. if it does then you can't keep going, and yeah, if it doesn't okay. then you can increase until you find, like until you get yes. to the amount yep. that he needs. Mm -hmm. I don't, like I give it to my dogs, I don't think it's a win, like a complete win, but I think it definitely helps. Helps, yeah. Look how calm you are, you're such a good boy, cheers. He's been working so hard yeah. to get to this point. <laughs> Haven't you, mate? So will you keep him? Uh, we would if um, no one came forward to okay. adopt him, but somebody is interested in oh, him. Cool. So um, he, he may, fingers crossed, for, you know, we, we just want it so badly for him, but he, he may be um, in his forever home very soon. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Because even though he's um, he's doing extremely well and he's free range um, with the big pack, um, he, he's not like a big pack guy. You know, yeah. he would like his own smaller like pack. 
to be his home. Boy, you are, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're such a good boy, aren't you? You're so good. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I know, it's so fun getting your face washed up. Good boy, great boy. And so how long have you been doing this for, Maxine? Um, three years. Three years, three years yeah. I've had my own business. So you worked with horses before this? Yeah, race horses. Oh, well, right. show jumpers and then race horses. And then went into doggies. Yeah, well, I am a trained vet nurse. Oh, wow. Um, but I'm too much of a sook. Yeah. Um, I'll fully admit that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But I did not like lots, lots of sadness, I imagine, oh. that you would see doing that. I'll be honest, it's human idiots. Yeah. Oh, we're. we're, um, we're we experience that, um, you know, a lot. Yeah. It can be incredibly frustrating and heartbreaking. I think the moment that broke me was, as a vet nurse, was when someone came in with an unwanted litter of puppies and bought a colleague. And it was back home in France. And she bought the box in. There were only, there were only, I would say, maybe a week old and a mixture of colours and the lady goes oh I'm gonna keep these two so one was a grey like a blue male and yeah. one was a red male but I don't want the others and I'm like why oh, yes. oh yeah because I can make money out of the two males but I can't make money out of the black and whites oh. I nearly killed her <laughs> <laughs> it's just like very oh, sad oh. isn't it why yeah we see a lot of it like working with the shelter. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Can you get your boy for a blow dry? And they're all such beautiful animals, they are. you know. They're so forgiving, aren't they? <laughs> so forgiving. Aren't you, buddies? So, do you need some help getting him up here? Usually, they're doing it by themselves. Back, back, back. rest of the pack vaccine just right behind <laughs> Okay, come on, out you go. Back, back, back. Come on, Miss Red. Back, back. Come on, Rover. Back, back. Stay there, buddy. You look amazing. Miss Red, Miss Red. Hello, buddy. He loved it. Yeah. He loved it so much. Um, we've, oh, you've got a snood. Is that a snood thing? Oh, yes. Fantastic. I was going to say, someone gave us one. Oh, and that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Look at you. You look beautiful. You're so cute. <laughs> You look so cute. Oh, you look so cute. Come on. Come on. You look adorable, buddy.
Miss Red, Miss Red. Who go down? Who go down? Who go? Oh yeah, hello, hello, beautiful, hello, hello, hello. Hello, good boy, good boy, buddy. Rover, Rover. Red. Come on, cat. Oh, I'm not treating Miss Red. Does he have his collar there? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't know, but that fit that actually. Hopefully it yep. does. Look at you, mate. He was so relaxed. Yeah, nice he's and fluffy. He got his um, nails trimmed and everything. Saw that. Yeah, it's good. What a good boy. What a good boy. I think he really enjoyed it. Look at you up next, Alan. Might not enjoy it so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at you. You look so beautiful, so handsome. Hang on, mate. I'm gonna get a photo. Good boy. Good boy, mate. Look at you. You're looking sharp. <laughs> hey. He looks great. Good job. You look so good, buddy. Do you want him back on his lead or? Oh, no. 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 Well done, Chancy boy. Oh, you're okay there. Yep. Good boy. Rover, Rover. Come on, Chance. Look at you, mate. Look at you. Hi. You look so good. Hi, you look so good. Really? Hi, oh, darling. Good boy. Good boy. Come here, let it go. Oh. Chance is coming back. Chance, come on, mate. <laughs> He enjoyed it so much. Right. 
She's just like, uh, what's happening here? <laughs> I, I'm thinking Lily would be Lily. used to this though, wouldn't she? Yeah. So although we adopted Lily, um, we've only had her for, you know, 12 months. So, and she lived like Northern Beaches. So she would have been groomed, I'm sure, at it's some a point. Girl. Yeah. She was a daycare doggy and he couldn't look after her anymore. So we just took her on. So she wasn't rehabilitated or anything. Okay. Go girl, Lil. Go girl, darling. Biggest concern would be that you're going to take off on the motorbike and she's going to miss yeah, out. She's miss out yeah. Okay, you two, come on. It's red. It's hot. Come on. You're yes. Terrible twins. Miss Violet is deaf, so and, come on. And, and half blind and. Yeah. Are the two related? So two yeah, ones? they're yeah. little mates. We, um, her mum, their mum, uh, was here for rehabilitation, and because um, she was quite a quite a serious aggressive dog, yeah. um, and she had a was pregnant when she was abandoned. So she came here with her litter when they were just ten days old, um, but two didn't make it, um, and. These two were the ones with conditions, like okay. so we adopted the, these two sisters and kept the mum as well. Cause oh, she, okay. she, um, she's really, really good, but she still, she just needs a really experienced owner with, you know, aggressive dogs just to keep her on track. Yeah. But that's okay. She, she loves her life here. You two. You little rascals. You two little rascals. It's alright, Lily. Don't worry, that's just Dylan in the Ranger. Don't worry, it's okay. She loves, that's her favourite thing, is to chase, you know, the motorbike. Like, Ranger. Hello mate, that wasn't me. That was Dylan. Look. Hello Dylan. Okay. <laughs> Serious photo. Mate. Oh, she was packing it. Like I'm missing out on a run.
Look at that pretty, you're back, buddy. Back at the farm. Yeah. Rover, 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 come on buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on mate. Good boy. No! No! Right. I'm just here, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I'm just here. Still in coming back. These two snappy sisters, they're so nosy. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in the nosiest of nosy. <laughs> they gotta check out every little yeah, corner. <laughs> Doggies have found the shade. Where have you gone? It's all right, Lil. Oh, you got it. Come on, come on. Got your bow tie on. Look at your bow tie, buddy. Good job, mate. It's all right, Lil. Here I am.
Gonna go next, Shadow? Oh, we go next. Rover's pretty keen. <laughs> All the dogs. Except the one that's scared of the bath. Just hanging out, you know, ready to see what's next. What are we doing, Uncle yep. Luke? And then there's one terrified of the bath. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why is he so terrified? He must have had some bad experiences with the baths, absolutely. But every time the hide bath comes out, he goes and hides around the corner, and now he's like just keeping an eye on Look, look, too much pressure. He's out. <laughs> Because he goes and hides in, he hides in, in the, the tool shed. Or the tool yeah, shed. yeah the, tool, the little tool cupboard. Okay. And he hides right in the corner too, and you like it. You don't want to have a bath, buddy. Not today. You don't need one today. Oh, Roscoe, bath time, mate. <laughs> bath time. Yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter? Loves the pool. No to bath. No to bath. Go make sure that Lil's okay. You're not going in, bud. What you got, Shadow? What you got, Shadow? What you got, Shadow, girl? What are you doing? Oh, Lily. You're crying. She's funny, isn't she? She is. If you ever have to duck out, um, she's that one dog that will just sit like she lies up against the gate. Yeah. And will not come away from the gate until you come home. Yeah. Every time uh, I drive in, all the dogs will be off somewhere and she'll be asleep at the gate. Yeah. And as soon as I open the door... They'll she'll... sit there for a little bit, like, and they'll, you know, they might have a howl or whatever, but as soon as there's something else going on or if it's hot, like, they'll come up to the house, you know. Yeah. But Lily refuses to... Yeah. Yeah. Look at 
记得啊，人。Maybe when it's a big day, he does. Oh, why not? I say, why not? But everyone loves a man. Yeah. The unwanted bear. Hello, Joey. He's not unwanted anymore. No, buddy. No, I love him. Yes. Hello, Joey. Oh, did you miss us, Freddy? Did you miss us, Freddy boy? I know, I tried to do some filming before, but I couldn't, it didn't come out that well, but it was like coming down behind you, just like <laughs> falling from the sky. When you, when she gets out of there, go have a look in the bathtub. It'll be printed all over the side of the bathtub.
Yeah, see you, darling. Social dog, isn't he? Like he's right up there, you know. He's really found a happy place, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He loves yeah. all, all the people, all the dogs. Yeah. And think about what he was like when we first met yeah. him. Yeah. Like we said this to Dee and um, the staff at the shelter, and they were like, "Oh, yeah. we never saw that side to Rover," yeah. you know. This shows that. You know, they're not their true selves at the shelter, you know. To get nice and fluffy and blow dry and then we'll go for a swim. <laughs> We'll, go for a swim. We'll, we'll make it last a little bit. We'll go for a bushwalk maybe first. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get um, diesel out yeah. for a bushwalk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been getting, I got him out with a motorbike run mm -hmm. because he shoots, he just goes. Okay. So, well, he won't stay with us, will he? Well, no, he just hears a bird in the distance and disappears. Okay. So it was, I mainly just did it so that if he did take off and he was any social with anyone, I could catch up or, you know, mm. um, get there quickly. But he seems to be settling very well. Yeah. So I think that we should be all right with the bushwalk. He'll just probably disappear, but I don't think there's But you're not be a worried problem. about him? No. There's it's too, amazing though. There's, there's too much room for him to... He's let it all go, you know, he's come here yeah. and it's, it's great. It's, it's one of those things like, you know, we've got dogs that uh, are not showing aggression to him and we've got, they're all at peace and calm and content. We give him the freedom to run, to explore, to, you know, investigate and sniff and all of a sudden they drop their, drop their guard, you know? So, you know, but that's why I wanted to assess when we went out to see D, because he wasn't showing the kind of aggression that Chance had, you know? He was he was showing aggression and that kind of thing, but it yeah. wasn't it wasn't like Chance. Chance Chance wanted to kill the other dogs, you know, but he just had a bit of a beef with some of the dogs. So once he understood oh, I'm not allowed to do that and we give him this environment he be be behaved very well. Yeah. So the plan is like obviously we're just hanging around while the dogs are getting a bath because they've never met Maxine yeah. before and some of them can be nervous, you know, having their bath time. Like Lily when she can't Yeah, me. so I think, I think every time Lily has a bath, you're going to have to be here because she's going to have a... Pissy fit. Yeah, she's going to be so upset and we don't want it to be like that. Yeah. But um, moving forward, once everyone's um, familiar... Yeah, we can get on and do something else. Yeah, while, whilst, um, Maxine you is know, them. one dog at a time... So we're going to do, I think it works out to be about five a week. I think that's yeah. what we're mm -hmm. looking at. Good job, Lil. She's like, I do not want to face my head away from the door. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on what's going on. Good girl, Lil. We're just here.
Hydrobars out here with lily, and there's big clumps of hair that come off and they fly around. These swallows come and catch it and take it into their nest. And they use it as little cushioning. Look, these guys. Rover's a he's sticky bee, isn't it? Yeah, he's everyone's friend. He was, um, it's funny because he's so happy and social, but he was like antisocial to humans and really? dogs. Wow, you wouldn't think so. No, no, he's a very happy boy. Looks like my dad's dog. Oh, really? What um, breeds is your dad's dog? Like, uh, so she's a, uh, like, um, she was found dumped, um, so we don't really know, but this is back home in France, um, oh, but growing up, now she's obviously an adult, we think, so sorry, it's really um, maybe she is a border collie cross melanoma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty serious, though. Yeah. Yeah, she's full on as a puppy. She took, like, a whole year to toilet train. Wow. Oh God. But she's like the best dog. Aww. And yeah. Boy, aren't you bloody. She's dad's dog now. She calls me dog. But as soon as I go home, yeah. yeah, she doesn't listen to dad anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there though, you still have to stay there. Good girl, darling. So what's that one you got there? Sonia? That's a de shedder rake. Mm. Um, look, that's the more traditional one. Oh, uh, yeah. But I find that it irritates their skin quite quickly unless yeah, it's a husky. Sure. Um, ah. So yeah, I prefer them ones. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a great yeah. tool, isn't it? It's pretty good. You have to be careful because technically, so... I yeah, don't know I can see those yeah. little hooks there, yeah. Um, but they're pretty blunt. But they're... But in there, that's technically sharp. Oh, like mine have right, gone okay. a bit blunt over time. Yeah. They get used every day. Um, but yeah, so that's why you shouldn't over overuse these ones. Mm -hmm. But if you're just going lightly, you'll just get, pick up. They're great for short dogs that need de-shedding. Yeah, oh. like Freddo would be good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be Must be the best, like you just go home and we just want to shower. <laughs> Not always get the sniff down every time I get home. From the oh, other yeah. dogs? Yeah. From my dogs, yeah. yeah. Not so bad now, but yeah. I'm the same. Yeah, no matter where I go, if I'm meeting new dogs, they all give me the sniff down. If I'm coming home from meeting new dogs, they all yeah. give me the sniff down. So every time. And even, even when people say, oh, you know, don't come over like he's... A bit, bit aggressive, or whatever. Yeah. All they do is smell me and then go, Oh, they smell like dogs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I've always loved them. Yeah. <laughs> Even the cat will look at me like, like You know how cats smell and they smell their open mouths? Yeah. yeah, that's what one of my cats does. He's more like a dog. <laughs> Oh, 
look so beautiful. I think she loves it. She yeah. does. There's always the ones that love it that don't really need that much done to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like my princess boy. Oh my god. He like hands his paws out. So I'm like, I've already done them types. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh. That's it, buddy. Like, oh. you're just happy. You can't do much more. <laughs> <laughs> they love to be pampered. Oh. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Not that bad. Want to do it this way? Go, girl, girl. Go, girl, darling. Go, girl. I know. I know. Oh, oh. Just stay. You better stay here. Go, girl. Stay there, darling. Mm. Do you want us to hold her for you? Maybe if we just stand yeah, up. Yeah, you go, go do that. She does have weak back legs, that, like oh, as okay. well. Um, she's got. She has a um, typical German Shepherd. It is, but she's got this rare condition where she's going to be in a wheelchair within two years. Oh so, really? Yeah. So I was just thinking, oh, she might be a bit yeah, funny. Yeah, she, she runs on the road on the back ones. Pretty good. Yeah. This should be fun. Beautiful. Oh, I don't like your ears. I oh, shut these stones. Mm. <laughs> they were clean. Is this collar? Yes, please. Yeah. Do you want a bandana on it? Um, uh, did you get one? We've. We did. Uh, I think I need a second last one. They're not that big, those colours. Mm. Here, here, Lily. Oh, 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 um, yep, here we go. go. Yep. Hello, darling. Yeah. Look how she she looks look. beautiful. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they're all checking her out. Yeah, Lily. You look amazing. You look amazing. <laughs> look at the ball. Yeah, back off. Come on. Give me some space. You look so beautiful, darling. You look so beautiful. Do you feel good? Do you feel good? Oh, gee, she smells delicious. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she smells so yummy. Just to on the oh, what a good girl, Lil. What a good girl. Sorry. <laughs> The babies are one. Okay. Yeah. And Mama Bear is approximately. Um, she. Yeah, 
pretty looks young herself. Yeah, she she honestly would only be like three, yeah. some, something like that, three or four. No, I don't even think that she's four, to be honest. Yeah. But she was um, tied to a kitchen sink and left to starve pregnant. Just awful. And she also wanted to kill every dog. She oh, was, really? Yeah. She um, was super aggressive. Not anymore, though, are you, darling? How many babies did she end up? Um, she had nine and seven survived. Wow, big list, huh? Yeah. Considering, yeah, she was starved as well, well darling. Yeah. So sorry. Oh, sorry. Put it down yeah. here so I can wait for it. So are both your doggies staffies? So Toby the princess, yep. the one with um, separation anxiety, he, look, I, I think I adopted him as a staffy across something. Yeah. I think oh yeah. Yep, He's yep, yep. nothing like a boxer. Right. <laughs> um, I think he might have bull terrier in him. Oh yeah. He's quite yeah. flat face, probably a bit more yeah. flat face than her. Yeah. Um, but then he's got, yeah, he's, I don't know, he's like, Maybe a Blarabi talk type of um like set. Yeah, right. Um, so, I don't know. so he's a big boy. He's not like he's not one of those huge Blarabs. Yeah. Um, probably about like a chunky version of the of the tan sappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tank and chopper. Yeah. Um, and then Brucey is literally like a black version of Tank and Chopper. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I call him a skinny mini. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's got the big fat face of an yeah. Amstar. Yeah. And, and then the lean. Skinny little boy. <laughs> yeah. That's like those guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Toby, apparently, this is why I got told when I adopted him, that they they raided a um, fighting facility, a fighting ring down yeah. in Nowra. Yeah. And that's where Toby came from. Yeah. Um, this is what her history was yeah. suggested to be too. Yeah, because they've got a big one up in Maitland. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, Toby is from down Narrow away. Yeah, right. And um, Brucey we've had since he was 16 weeks old. Aww. Um, he was from Town Patrol. Oh yeah. Um, and apparently his mum belonged to a, a drug junkie. Yeah. And she handed the mum in with the pups um, and they all had parvo. Oh, yes. He had four puppies and only Bruce and his brother survived. Oh. And then they got um, coccygiosis. Oh, What's that? Um, it's like a tummy bug basically. Right. But it's like a worm and it lives bacteria, lives in their belly. Yeah, Makes them okay. very, very sick and anemic. Yeah, and right. so Brucey had to have um, uh, had to have a um, blood transfusion. Right. So he was in the vets a lot as a puppy, and so that's what his foster mum has put because his brother is even more aggressive than Bruce. Right. Um, and yeah, everyone keeps saying to me because he missed out on his socialisation period. Yeah. Because he was in the. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um, yeah, he was in the vets. Aww. That's what everyone says that it's probably. Yeah. And then I, when I worked, when we had him as a puppy, I worked on the horse farms, and so he was always kind of like this kind of lifestyle, like off with other dogs. Mm. So it wasn't a bad thing, but then he kind of like he was pushed to the like I'm. I'll fully admit, like I did, I probably didn't socialise him like I should have. So it's hard. Yeah, isn't it? So I'm trying to make up for it now. Yeah. But
it sounds like he has a wonderful mom <laughs> and a great it just makes life. It really hard. <laughs> I want to take him to the beach and everything. Yeah. But so we're working on muzzle training at the moment. Okay. So that way yeah. he won't get blamed for anything. Yes. Like yeah. Something happens. Oh, that's good. Gives you, it gives you like less stress and exactly. Yes. Um, you know, he gets more freedom. Yeah, it's going to make me more confident as well. Yeah, um, definitely. And thing. they feed off your um, oh, nervousness yeah. and oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm probably too close. Um, you know, which does kind of reinforce the the um, negative behaviour. So that'll be good. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I just need to be more confident with him because yes. when I go out, when we lived in West Sydney, we had a great trainer. Yeah. And um, he was coming along really good. He could go for a walk with her dogs and. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good, but I'm just so anxious taking him out by myself. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's not easy when I've got. No, of course uh, not. Someone has to be home with Toby and I'll... <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you can just swap sides. What a good girl. Good girl, Shadow. You are such a... So cute. She is. She didn't used to be, but now she just loves... Sunning herself <laughs> and chasing birds. Yeah. And just being a puppy again, really. Yeah. Come on, Dad. Two daughters here, up to mischief, I'm sure. Cutest thing, isn't it? The little hoodie.
So, um, very sorry, but he is incontinent. Oh, okay. Yes. Like, so, apologies. I, like, I don't mind. You were like, oh, did you just do an excited wee? Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, no, it's a just constant all day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, I'm guessing, side effect of... Well, he had it before the surgery, yeah. but yes, it has something to do with his condition. The surgeon thinks it could either be a neurological thing, like mixed signals. Yeah. Um, so we're trialing. Going, sort of yeah. Yeah. So we're trialing some medication, but he might be that way for life, and that's okay. We've got. got um, oh, you're so oh, you got a beach in your ear. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at her. So beautiful. <laughs> She's totally loving this, though, isn't, isn't she? she? Yeah, we've got um, another doggy that's fecally incontinent. <laughs> oh. He was going to be part of your wash today. Oh, well, he's not. We're not doing that to now. Well, who did we swap out with? Mm. Oh, it was Barney. Sorry, we we're going to swap with Maggie, but no, it is Barney. Oh, okay. He doesn't have a leaky bottom at the moment, so. <laughs> <laughs> All these many, things to many, look many forward many to. Does it <laughs> Amazing shadow. She's a little tank, isn't she? She is. Little nugget. Alright. Look at you, you're so, so shiny. Look at you. Ooh, ooh, good girl. <laughs> Everyone comes over and meets her. I know. What was it like, they say? I don't. He was like bred by a backyard breeder and um, he couldn't go to the toilet by himself. Um, so he had a condition that required surgery, but the breeder tried to manually extract it and he damaged his insides. So he's had two surgeries, but and he's totally fine now, um, yeah. but the result is that he's fecally incontinent for life. So he has to wear a nappy inside. And, yeah. But we love him. We don't care. <laughs> Do we, Barney boy? And in his eyes, he's just a normal, you know, boxer baby. Crazy boy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy boy. That's it. Oh, good boy, buddy. What a good boy! <laughs> Not sure about this. I know, his little... You've got your little sad box of face on. Oof. Don't worry, Brad. I used to have dogs down in Sydney and I called him the Chris Hemsworth oh. of dogs. <laughs> he was like, he literally was like so muscly. Was he? Absolutely gorgeous dog. Aww. 
they take a real long time to fill out. Like they're, we've had, we've had a, um, you know, with the daycare, we had a lot of boxes and they're yeah. usually they're skinny for a long time. Yeah. And then it's not till they hit, you know, past kind of two that they start to really chunk up. Come to look like he'd been on the roids. Really? Ridiculous. Wow. He was just. What? He would have been an impressive oh, he boxer. Was so beautiful. Barney, he was, Barney's he just a like, wee little boy, aren't you, buddy? Sat, like, his back is like that. It was huge. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, Barney. Barney is I think this guy's gonna look like a puppy forever, I'm Bigger, like they're going to be little mini ones, like, but I love them, I love them so much. I love them all so yeah. much, but that's what I say as well. I do love them, and yes, I know. I'm a, I'm a big softy when it comes to the doggies. Hello, Maggie. Good girl, darling. Like a pharaoh dog up there, buddy. Like a king, eh? Yeah, that's right. He's a good boy, Barney. He, um... He's had like, you know, just a, a pooey first six months of his life. Like he was very well taken care of with his foster family. Yeah. But just because of all the in, in and out of hospital, you know, he didn't um, get to socialise much. And, yeah. Um, Hello. But he's a real sweet boy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's a little puppy. He's a little puppy. But she's really been pretty good. She's like, focus on me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy boy. <laughs> Look at this guy. I oh, know. <laughs> He's loving it, isn't he? You okay, what's going on? He loves everything. He just wants to be involved. <laughs>
<laughs> he enjoyed it so much. What a good boy, Barney. Yeah. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, Barney. <laughs> Sorry, Maxine. <laughs> We've all done it. It's all good. Nice and relaxed, mate. He's so relaxed. He's like, look at you. You are such a handsome boy. Oh, so beautiful, buddy. Yes, you do. Oh, what a good boy you are. Good boy, buddy. He's You've, been in there the whole time. Yeah, we'll one. just we'll just do it. Yeah. Over? Yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> Have a go, buddy. He's wanted it the whole time, but now he's like, uh... <laughs> Come on, buddy, turn around. Your turn, mate. It's your turn. So I might just Good boy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right, your turn. Is that what this is all about? Yeah. Look at you, Barney boy. Look at you, mate. You look so smart. Well, that bow tie matches that collar very well. Yeah. Are they the oh, last two or is that one of his? Uh, one is his, the green one. Yeah. And the okay. black one's Barney's. Yeah, for sure. I love it, Barney. Looks so good, boy. Oh, yeah, good job. <laughs> He's turning into a real muscly boxer. <laughs> He's got real strong muscles. He's gonna be, you think? Well, he's tight. Like, he's real, he's tough. Like, he's solid to touch, you know? He's not, he doesn't have a huge mass at the moment, but no. the muscles that he does have are very, very tight. Okay. Who are you? You're a bit handsome. Been waiting so patiently. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> this is or impatiently. <laughs> Have you ever had a dog that you just can't make social? Um, chances the white one. Yeah. He's been our most difficult case. He's been here for almost 12 months. Yeah. Um, but he was a dog that would, um, he would attack until the other dog was uh, ir unresponsive. Oh my God, right. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen it firsthand and it's, it's pretty gruesome. Yeah. Um, so he just, he would trigger and he couldn't disengage. Yeah, okay. Um, so he did it, he would do it to the death. Yeah, there was not like, it's not like trying to get them into submission or anything. It was just, no, I exact, don't like you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we've, we've had all kinds of like dogs with levels of aggression, you know, and um, like you say, a lot of them are just trying to get the other dog to um, submit or... Um, Sorry, I was just going to say, I'm just using a minty one on him. Oh, yeah. To try and get the... Um, and smell. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sorry, so you were saying. 
Um, so Chance has definitely been the, um, he, he, he was super high aggressive, but so he's at a point now where he can be off lead and um, socialize in this large social environment and new dogs can come in and he's perfect. Yeah. The issue though with a dog like that is if another dog shows them aggression or um, challenges know, him. Yeah. yeah then um, he needs to be guided through. So we just need to tell him um, to let it go. Yeah. And he will. He does 100% responsive. And how do you um, do that, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's, um, yeah, we've got a whole a program. Like, yeah. So there's different stages. Yeah. Um, so the first stage is teaching them um, a new language. Okay. Um, so they need to understand yes and no. Yeah. And, uh, pretty much, like, there's a whole range of um, commands, but obviously they need to understand um, yes and no um, yeah. as as primary, um, and be one hundred percent responsive on that, no matter what the distraction. Okay. So we do integrated distraction into the training from you know we start off small. And then we go up to, you know, um, their Achilles heel, um, and they have to, they must be uh, responsive no matter what the circumstance. Okay. Um, and then it's months and months of intensive socialisation. Okay. So every single day, in amongst, you know, it used to be 60 dogs, um, yeah. and you know, of all different ages. Um, Different sizes, breeds, yeah. and now it is a waiting game. So we just guide him through every day, okay. and you're just waiting for him to no longer react, um, or if he does react, to verbally guide him and him to respond straight away, and then eventually he'll never, he won't ever react. So interesting. It is, yeah. But it does work. Um, yeah. But I think the thing is, though, that um, it literally is hundreds and hundreds of hours of work with a qualified, experienced trainer, yeah. and not not anyone or everyone has that, you know, like um, <laughs> or money even to yeah. pour in. Like we do it for free. Yeah. Um, you know, we're dedicating our life to do it, but um, if you were to get a trainer to do it, it'd be like chance is well over a hundred thousand dollars, you know, yeah. um, in training hours. But then you've got Rover, so he was aggressive, he was um, to be euthanized oh, wow. because of his aggression, but um, it was like on a level, like compared to chance, it was quite superficial. So, oh, okay very easy turnaround in like literally a couple of weeks. So what, like he just didn't know what to do with himself and so he just had an outburst sort of thing? Anyone, or? anyone that would show him, he was fearful, aggressive, yeah, because he hadn't had the socialization, but um, also reactive to, you know, dogs showing him any, um, you know, dominance or anything like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, once, he was given boundaries and um, taught that it was unacceptable. Um, and Luke's military, like his ex-military, yeah, so yeah. he's a thousand percent consistent. You know, the dogs never get away with anything, and so they very quickly just relax and go, "Oh, okay, I'll let it all go." And and we have a very now we've trained the whole pack. They're a really calming social environment, so. The dogs respond like extremely well to such a positive pack. Yeah. Okay. But if you've got a, a, you know, if you've got them being introduced to dogs that are not, then you're just not going to get anywhere. Anyway, we could talk forever with you yeah. about dog training. You know, <laughs> we live, we live and breathe it, but. 
it's a good bike. It is. <laughs> it is. And all of these doggies wouldn't be able to live this kind of life otherwise. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, they definitely um, found found their heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Rover, he only just um, had his surgery like a few weeks ago, okay. maybe about four weeks ago now. So this this is great that he's having a a nice good bath. Yeah, buddy. He looks like he's enjoying it. So well behaved. Aww, yeah, that's so that's such good feedback. Well done, Rover. Playing your best behaviour. Especially the like the bully greens, like yeah. not reacting to the blow dryer is such a big thing for them. Yes. We're, we're big on behaviour here, like we still have to work on everything every day because we have a lot of dogs, you know, but... Yeah. but yeah, I don't know how you split your time too. <laughs> yeah. We, um, pretty much, it's our life, just, that's all we do now. We quit our business just to train and care for them, so... Yeah. Honey, you look amazing. Look at you. Oh, it's a gorgeous boy. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Beautiful girl. Beautiful boy. He actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be actually that bothered about the air dryer. He does, he does look like he really enjoys it, doesn't he?
<laughs> Look at me, he's like, He just enjoys everything these days. Yeah. He loves it. Like Kelpie, cross yeah. something. When you first you know? see him, it's Kelpie. But yeah, but the more I look at him, the more I see a husky. Yeah, yeah. And I've had experience with a few huskies that are cross something else. And whenever they cross something else, I find it completely messes up their coat. Yeah, so they're not right. like ultra hairy like a yeah. husky. Yeah. Oh, darling. Okay. <laughs> they go like through the like they really do just shed. Sometimes, yeah, rather right. than all the time. <gasps> Look how handsome you are. <sighs> you are so handsome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, beautiful boy. Wow. You look good in green. Look at you. So good. Look at him. Look some. It's time, it's time to go. Go for a bushwalk and a swim. Come on, everybody out of Come on. So yeah, she's she's deaf, so we have oh. to kind of Come on. Come on <laughs> let's go, let's go. Come on, darling. Good girl. Oh yes. Oh yes. What a good girl. I know, you were gagging for about yeah. Yeah, Next time, Maggie. <laughs> Till, till. She's getting squished. How is it in there, Sam? Nice and comfy? Till, till. She's getting squished. <laughs>
Taking a seat? Mm -hmm. What more your pace, isn't it, mate? <laughs> mm -hmm. Roscoe spent the whole morning in the tool cupboard. Big sooky boy. <laughs> Get in the back. We'll take on a masked intruder. It's scared of a hydra bar. Mm
So while we're sitting here, we'll answer someone's questions. Mm -hmm. This is from Jacqueline. Or Jacqueline, I'm sorry if I it's Jacqueline, not Jacqueline. Um, who is one of our members. So thank you, Jacqueline. Um, she says, I have a question that I hope does not offend or upset anyone. I want to better understand and educate myself about incontinence issues oh, yeah. dogs have like Barney. Just let me uh, call Dylan, let him know. Because we've got the Ranger who would expect to get the Ranger to unload his car. Oh, okay. Well, he can take it. Hey, mate, just drive up and unload your car and then drive back. I've got all the dogs out in the paddock. I've got the Ranger out here too, so. Okay, thanks, mate. Bye. Yep. Um, Incontinence. Yep, so Barney. Yep. I understand he has no tail. Was that a birth defect or did someone intentionally cut his entire tail off? We were um, told it's a birth defect. Yes. Which was also connected with the fact that he had... sphincter that almost didn't open at all mm. and so the vet that operated on Rover was the same vet that operated on Barney mm. he started telling me the story about this other dog who was incontinent a boxer blah blah I'm like oh yeah we have that dog too <laughs> he's ours that's Barney he would have been shocked to hear that wouldn't yeah. he um yep so birth defect um when you talk about his issues with defecating, are you saying he goes without control and he has intestinal issues, which means sometimes it is not solid feces? If it comes out without warning, does he not then need a diaper all the time? Yeah, so that's correct. <clears throat> he doesn't he's not aware of the fact that um, he's you know passing feces it just comes out as he runs around mm. as he's walking as if he's lying on the couch and he wakes up you know there'll be some there um, with Barney it's a balance of diet for him to keep him as regular as possible uh, so that the more the more um, healthy his gut health and um, you know digestive system is, the more control he has. Like he will still think, oh, I need to go to the toilet and, and crouch and you know push something out. But a lot of the time, it, it just comes out without him knowing that it's going on. So the more loose or runny it is, oh, he's the got less no control. he's got no control. It just comes out. Freely. But it, but that's the same even. I've seen him um, when he first came here and they were pellets. They just pop out. Mm. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter, does it, whether it's loose or hard. Um, and it is, it is all the time. Um, but the diaper thing or the nappy thing is um, really just... A matter of um, when he's inside or he's in a situation where, um, you know, for hygienic re reasons or, yeah. you know, so for like instance. If he's out here running around now, we, why would you put a diaper on him? Yeah, exactly. So he's just running around. The and the majority of our day is outside. Um, so he has to wear one when he comes inside at night or if, you know, in the morning. Um, also, um, you know, it does help if he's wearing one on the bus, like when he went to the shelter. Um, the other thing is that we went, we were at the shelter, so... Just, it, just dripping all over the pubs yeah. and wherever we were. But here at the farm, it, we don't care. So, like, it really is 90% of the time um, he, he doesn't need to wear um, a nappy. Or a diaper. Yeah. Um, and then it goes on to say, with Rover, yep. does he go to the bathroom like male dogs do now? 
Are there any more complications with his digestive and reproductive systems that he still has? Really just wanting to understand as Google searches and research is very limited. Thank you for responding. Um, yeah. And, and she also says, I respect, admire and adore all humans and fur babies at the farm, including your extended family. I wish I had a brother who without hesitation or pushback would take personal time to come out and help me when I really need help in refer reference to your brothers. I love how your family members embrace your life, your chosen profession, life choices and lifestyle and focus on oh, I've got that, uh, the bigger picture of spending quality time with each other. Yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, so just in terms of Rover, So they don't, they, I mean, I'm not aware of any further digestive or reproductive issues, correct? Issues, yeah, there's no real concerns at this point. <clears throat> not, not, so the, the only um, thing is um, his incontinence and that he feels like he has to go to the toilet when he doesn't like as in um defecating so they the surgeon thinks that it possibly could be um the wrong signals being sent like it's a neurological thing correct and so he's trialing a medication we're trialing a medication to see if it <coughs> helps um with the how long does it take um to start working we haven't got it on him. Got him on it yet. Oh. We had to put an online order in. It's likely at the post office uh, waiting to be picked up. Oh, I've right. got a few messages today saying you've got packages. Uh, okay. Right. So I did that that day. He had his um, appointment. I put the order in for his uh, prescription. It's likely at the, at the post office now. Um, okay. So we can't comment on whether that's effective or not because he's not on it. Yeah. No. So we'll, we'll update everybody. He will, he will consistently leak constantly. Yeah. Uh, whether he's walking around, whether he's laying down. So when he does actually try to go to the toilet and urinate, yeah, he does um, go like a normal male dog, but the volume is much smaller because I don't think it gets a chance to fill up. It just keeps leaking out. Um, so... As far as his bowel movements, yeah, it's more of a signal being sent to the, the brain saying, hey, I need to go, when really there's not much there because one out of every four times he crouches out, he does a he does a totally normal. Yeah, like um, I've, I've been watching him and he, def he doesn't seem to have any issues with... When he needs to yeah, go. Yeah, like... Mm. There's no issues but there. It's like he thinks he but needs his to brain, go when he yeah. So, so that that's as much as we know at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, what, um... Ready. Mm. Was 
Freddy Roscoe's first playmate. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hello, Diesel. Hello, buddy. So we're just waiting for the water truck to empty its load into the pool. Yep. Um, before we head to the pool ourselves. Yeah, he's filling up the pools and just all this hot, hot water and heat this season. The pools are just evaporating day by day. So, give him a bit of a top up. And we'll be in there in a flash. Right, me guys. Can you make it like that skate though?
Lily's got a good stick. Diesel's not coming with us for a swim in the pool. What's the reason for that? Just um, for everybody at home. Yeah, so he is great at, at most of the things, but uh, without the room to run around and to um, you know do his own thing, he does start to have a little bit of a... Um, not even, not even a, a snap, but he gets a little bit feisty. So these guys are raring to get in the water. Uh, I don't want to tarnish it too early with him by putting him in that situation where he's likely going to get in trouble. Um, so I just thought he can sit this one out. We'll do a bit more of a controlled entry into the into the pool area um, at a later date. He's had a good run around. He's, uh, he doesn't need to come in for this one. So basically trying to keep his experiences as, po as positive as possible for as long as they can. And then we'll focus on that close quarters, in personal space type behavior a little bit later. Uh, we're still, still watching him decompress, which is good. I want to keep that momentum going. I don't want him to you know, find himself um, going backwards too early, where they always do go backwards when you start to really focus on those issues and push their Achilles heel. Uh, but I want him to really have an overall positive experience about the whole scenario so that when we do start making it difficult for him and making him um, reflect on his behaviour, uh, it's not a 50-50, it's like a 80% positive and only, you know, very small percentage is a, is a negative behaviour modification, so that's why he's not coming in today. Like, I'm not staying back anymore, I'm, this is where I go, I go. <laughs> Good job. Okay, guys, come on, let's go.
Hey guys, so when we were doing the work with Diesel in the shelter, he kept looking, pinning his nose into the corner of the room and uh, barking and scratching at the corner. And I kept saying, oh, I think this is a bit weird. He's doing something funny here. Not sure what's going on. And uh, everyone just sort of thought, oh, it's the, it's the puppy's next door he's trying to get to. I thought it was a bit odd. Anyway, I've observed him here. He's definitely got a really odd behavior that kind of behavior where you know they're focusing right in on a corner um, barking looking at things that aren't there it tells me there must be some kind of issue going on uh, I think that there might be some kind of neurological issue I have noticed a couple of funny things the way that he comes up and says hello he puts his nose on your foot and then runs his head up the side of your leg till he looks at you and, and sort of keeps that pressure on uh, which is can be a bit of a security blanket for him where he starts at a point that he knows and then works his way up until he sits there. So it could be a vision thing. We're not sure, but there's a couple of odd behaviours that I've noticed that we think that we definitely need to go and see a vet about or a specialist and try and work it out. So just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. He's definitely got something going on. It's not a normal behaviour. It's either a combination of sight and neurological or it's one or the other or who knows but there's something going on there that needs to get checked out so we'll make an appointment for him and we'll keep you guys updated on on what's going on and how it works out what do you speak to you soon